Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Hyatt Buick GMC in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'm checking out a pretty well-equipped Buick LaCrosse that they have here on the lot. This one is a in like a metallic gray color, and it is pretty much loaded down with features. Um, it's a very comfortable vehicle. It's a good size. It's not too big, not too small. Um, kind of a mid-size sedan type vehicle. So here in the front, it's got that classy Buick look in the front with the grille, as well as a projector headlight system here. You can see it's got the, the projector tube there. Um, that's powered by high intensity, high intensity discharge, HID um, light source. And you've also got some, some fog lights there at the bottom. And as well as uh, some LED accents around the headlight um, as, as running lights. Now this car rolls on 18 inch uh, aluminum wheels, aluminum alloy wheels. It's like silver in color. I believe they're painted or coated. And then you've got the chrome trim there. Some chrome accents here on the, on the side of the hood, on the door handles, that kind of stuff. Then you've got these side marker lights here on the side of the uh, side mirrors. So one of the features this has, here's the key here. Now this is what they call an easy key, uh, proximity type key. Uh, you don't have to actually take this out of your pocket to use the vehicle. You can use it without um, the key actually, just having a key in your pocket. But um, since it has a remote start here, I'm going to, uh, it has to be locked up. So I'm going to make sure it's locked by pushing that. And then immediately I'm going to push and hold this, um, this button here to start it. So now it's started up and, um, and I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. And like I said, you can just keep this key in your pocket. You don't actually have to do that, but uh, just for the sake of the video, I'm going to do that just for convenience for me. So here's the, here's the inside of the passenger door. You can see we've got a, um, a black interior. Now, it does have the white stitching here. And then you've got your door lock controls, your power window controls. You've got a bottle holder there at the bottom as well as a uh, some you know storage space this one does have the premium Bose sound system We've got the Buick threshold there eight-way power passenger seat with a uh, an adjustable headrest and you've got the seat here it's good quality leather nice um, it's got some give to it but it has a good firm feel it's not going to be too cushy and then it's got, you've got your, uh, your stitching around there. Let's check out the glove compartment. It is a felt lined glove compartment that has a pretty good amount of, pretty good amount of space in there. Let's take a look at the back seats. Now you look at the inside of the back door, they're not skipping on any kind of quality here on the back just because it's the back door. You've got the wood grain accents, you got the black uh, with the white stitching there, you got the pocket at the bottom. Same quality comfortable seats here in the back with the white stitching. Uh, you got decent leg room. Now the front seat's all the way back so it give you an idea of the amount of room you have back here. Now this right here will fold down and you've got some cup holders and this will lift up and you got a little storage space there. Or you can push it up out of your way. You've got some vents back here for your climate control for your uh, backseat drivers. You also have a power supply down there, 12 volts. Little pockets there on the back of the front seats. These seats will fold down in case you need to have some more uh, cargo air space in the trunk. You can do that as well. It does have the latch system for the car seats with the anchors there on the back behind the headrests. All right, so let's take a look here. Uh, it does have the flex fuel um, capability to where you can use up to 85% ethanol in this vehicle and it'll run fine. Uh, your gas mileage may diminish a little bit, but uh, that's one of the drawbacks of flex fuel from what I understand. 
It's got the dual exhaust with the V6 engine. Um, originally, this car will, you know, the, the base model will come in uh, with a four cylinder, but this one has the V6. And you've got these little circles back here. They are the uh, ultrasonic backup sensors. So if you're backing up this vehicle and you get close to something, it'll beep at you and let you know. Also, uh, that really helps out with that is your backup camera as well. You've got the little lens there. So another feature here on the key, if you choose to use it, is to open up the trunk. So I can push that button, hold it, and it pops open, and you notice it goes all the way up without actually touching the trunk, which is very handy if you got your hands full uh, to, in, you know, to access the back of the vehicle. And you can see this one has the, uh, the slush um, rubber mats. The, the rest of them have not been installed, but this one here in the in the cargo area, just wanted to show you the quality here. Um, it is a, a, a thick rubber. It, it contains any spills, um, any water, any melted snow on your feet, mud, stuff like that, and uh, protects your vehicle very well. I highly recommend these on an, especially a new vehicle. Uh, as soon as you get your vehicle, you go ahead and put the mats in it, and you're good to go. Under here is your spare tire. Now, some vehicles on the market today, new vehicles. Uh, they're not including, the manufacturers are not including a spare tire, so you want to make sure when you're shopping for a vehicle that it, in fact, does have a spare tire, even if you have to pay separate, pay, you know, pay for it separately, and that's the case sometimes. Alright, take a look here. And I think the 18-inch wheels really go well with this uh, size vehicle. 20-inch, um, 20-inch may go well, but uh, the 18 seems like a really good size for this particular uh, shape and size of the vehicle. So what I was mentioning before about the keeping the key in your pocket, uh, you can actually use the vehicle just by pushing this button. So I got the key in my pocket now, and I can lock the doors, and I could unlock them using this button here. And um, so basically, I can. You see right there, I don't know if you can see that thing right there, that's the door lock. It's going up and down when I push the button. It senses the key nearby, and it's and so when I push the button, it knows that I'm you know safe to unlock the car for me. And right here is uh, this little car with the thing there. That's a, um, a like a lane departure warning and also a blind spot monitor uh, system this vehicle has. It's got a lot of stuff, but this will let you know if there's a vehicle in your blind spot to avoid a, uh, turning into a, a vehicle. So here's the inside of the driver's door. And uh, you see this one's kind of a mirror of the other side, except for it has a few extra buttons. One is this button down here uh, to open up your trunk if you want to use that one. You also have your presets for your seats um, that does have the uh, power seats that can be preset power windows front and back and then you got your side mirror controls left and right and then it's like a little joystick you move it around there's your power door locks there there's your power adjustments for your seats as well as your lumbar support you do have automatic headlights there's your dimmer switch there to the right of that there is a heads up display on this vehicle and uh, and this is for controlling your some of your menus I'll show you that in a second so hopping in, it's kind of noisy outside. Man, these seats are comfortable. Um, there's a little pocket there for putting stuff, change or whatever. All right, so the fans are on a little bit loud, but you probably have noticed now that the outside noise is completely gone for the most part. It's, uh, it's very quiet in here. So since I used a remote start, I still have to push this button to turn everything on. So I do that, and everything kind of comes to life. Let your gauges um, turn on. Some of them are analog gauges, some of them are digital. But let's start here on the steering wheel. It is a leather wrapped steering wheel. This you go vehicle is in demonstration mode, connected by OnStar's high speed 4G connection. Press the blue OnStar button to learn more. Okay, maybe later. All right, so you notice, <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, that was pretty interesting. Um, the fan is blowing pretty strong right now, 
and it was kind of loud. So when the the voice uh, rec the voice how do I explain this? The message, the audio message that was played, the fan dimmed out a little bit so you can hear the message a little bit easier. I don't know if you noticed that. Pretty interesting. Rewind it and we listen to it again. Maybe it was just my imagination. But anyways, back to the steering wheel. You've got the leather wrap with the stitching on the inside. And you've got the, um, you know, these these kind of bumps right there for kind of it gives you a little bit of a sporty look and a, and a good grip on the vehicle um, while you're driving so here on the left side is your cruise control and this vehicle has a little bit more advanced well a lot more advanced uh, cruise control than the average vehicle uh, it has a um, what's called a um, I don't know the exact terminology or Buick but it's basically called a it's an adaptive cruise control it adapts your distance from the vehicle in front of you so like say you see this right here this little symbol right here you see and notice it has a, a vehicle in front of a, another vehicle and basically um, if you're driving and you're driving along and say you got the cruise set at 70 miles per hour and a car in front of you is going 68 or 65 and um, you know you're not going to pass them or anything so basically you just keep going and the vehicle will slow down just enough to match their speed while they're in front of you to avoid you having to constantly fine tune and uh, you know micromanage your, uh, your cruise control so basically it does that for you it just does it at a set distance away from the car in front of you um, out of convenience and that's something really handy I get really annoyed trying to constantly change my cruise control to match the people in front of me um, so that's a pretty cool feature also it has a crash mitigation system to where if you are if a crash is imminent then uh, it's going to slap on the brakes for you and try to avoid uh, you actually I don't think it's going to actually avoid the collision but it will minimize it as much as possible by trying to slow you down because uh, you know if it's imminent then pretty much nothing you can do about the crash but you can um, minimize the, the, the damage I guess you could say so the cruise control is a little bit more advanced than the average cruise control and um, and uh, you know so I just want to mention also um, that's these buttons you got right here next to these buttons is your um, your voice recognition and once you pair your uh, cell phone with the Bluetooth system here you can push the voice recognition and make calls and receive calls you can also um, bark out commands like go to a specific address or turn to a certain station uh, that's what the voice recognition button does this button down here basically hangs up the phone uh, when you're done talking to somebody you just push that button and it hangs up whether they're done or not <laughs> So here on the right, we've got a, um, some more buttons, and these correspond with, uh, well, for one thing, this is your volume on your radio, so you can turn your volume, and it gives you an indicator there. It's you know, froglets, you know, <laughs> jumping around. But, so it's uh, right there, convenient for your thumb, so I'm gonna turn it down. And, uh, but these buttons here correspond with this, this kind of a menu system here, and a little bit of a glare right now. Let's see here. It's funny when uh, on a V on with your naked eye, the glare isn't as bad as actually on a camera. But anyway, let's try to continue on. So I'm going to just kind of scroll through and show you what I'm talking about. You can push the button and it kind of uh, goes into a certain menu system and you can get different information there. Um, you can also do that on this screen here. You can kind of scroll through some different screens and of course if you have favorites it'll scroll through the favorites but in this case it's not going to do that um, so let's go back out of that menu to that menu and then once you get into a specific place there's a center button here this little check mark you can choose like right now I'm going to choose that um, uh, the navigation and it's going to give me a little little tiny view of the map on the navigation screen in the center of the, uh, the speedometer which is a pretty cool feature 
So there's lots of little things that you can do with that, that center screen in addition to just tell how fast you're going. And I think that's pretty cool. Alright. There's your windshield wipers and stuff there. Now let's just take a look. Hopefully this air conditioner isn't interfering too much. It's just really hot. So I do have the air conditioner on. Alright, so here's your touch screen. And basically, the touch screen is these three things at the top. Your radio, your phone, and your navigation. So that's kind of your basic stuff there. So right now, we're in the radio. We're on you know, a certain station on FM. And, um, and there's presets there at the bottom. Pushing this button, since there's no phone paired, it's not really going to do a whole lot. Uh, but you'll have um, all kind of more... Once you pair a device, which you have that button there to the right, you'll have more of a menu system pop up to where you can, uh, uh, you know, like your phone book and call different people. Navigation is right here. Um, this is where you can view the map. You can also push that destination button, put in a specific address or, or a place that you want to go, and um, it'll take you there. And then you've got your outside temperature on the top left, and then your, uh, t your time, uh, your little clock there on the top right. Now right above the screen, you've got your lane departure warning uh, button there on the left side to where if you want to turn that off, you can. The center button is your, um, your four lane emergency flashers. And the button to the right is your parking sensors. Now, sometimes you're backing up and you're getting close to something and you're not really sure, um, it, or you are sure that you're not going to hit something, but the, the backup parking sensors are just beeping at you like crazy. So you can you have the ability to turn those off if you want to, uh, just to you know uh, regain you know to to maintain some sanity there. So that that's one cool thing there. And you've got some redundant buttons here: your volume, tune through the stations, go through uh, tracks. Now it does have a CD player down here. Um, you know it does have a. You can always go to the home button, which gives all your icons here. Um, now you can once a lot of these are. Uh, depending on your cell phone now so like the the pandora and uh, your text stuff like that is dependent on your cell phone the onstar is not so um, the vehicle does have its own cellular connection to where it can uh, access that stuff without your cell phone and then you've got a set you know different settings and stuff there um, which goes into pretty pretty good amount of different details there but anyway most of the stuff you won't have to use on a regular basis so down here is your climate control, and you'll notice you have two touch screens down here as well. One on the left, one on the right. And this does have the heated seats, which I can turn on here. On the, on the, um, on the, the passenger or driver seat. And um, so basically I can push these right here. They're just soft touch buttons. And I can change the temperature for driver and passenger. Right now they're synced. You can see that sync button there. But if I start adjusting this side, it's going to unsync them. And, um, and that way I can you know do my own thing on, on the passenger side and then you've got your fan speed where you want the air to blow uh, defrost front and back and then you can recirculate the air like so and then down here kind of resembles a place where an ashtray used to be but there is a little pocket there and a um, cigarette lighter type thing here power supply and I think there's a smokers group that you can put in an ashtray there and a cigarette lighter there, um, if I'm not mistaken. Now there's the shifter, and I'm going to go ahead and just put it in reverse uh, to show you the backup camera. So you can see what it looks like there. Now, uh, it does have those lines there, and when you turn the steering wheel, which I'm doing now, you'll see, hopefully a little bit of a glare, you'll see those lines move. And they, uh, there's, the lines are giving you an estimated trajectory of the vehicle, and also an estimated size compared to its surroundings. It is a widescreen, I'm sorry, wide angle lens back there to where it gives you a little bit more um, of a view than what you would naturally see with your eyes. So, um, so the lines kind of help you give you a, a, a more realistic uh, size comparison of your vehicle as it's backing up. It is just a guide. So I wouldn't uh, just put it in reverse and just floor it backwards, assuming that that's going to be 100% accurate. Um, it is just to kind of help you, you know, visualize it, um, but you still want to use your side mirrors, your rear view mirror, and all that good stuff. And of course, turning around 
um, too as well looking behind you all right so let me continue down there's neutral there's uh, there's drive now it does have a manual mode you put it down on M and so now uh, it says M1 so right here on the side of the shifter you see this plus and negative I'm gonna push that button and it'll cycle through it won't let you go but so far but um, it won't allow you to shift too far but you can kind of uh, cycle through the um, the gears there and uh, with a six-speed transmission in case you need a little bit more control of the uh, the shift points so put it back in park this is a um, electronic parking brake and you can you can turn it on by lifting it up and you push it down to release it your traction control stability control is there you can turn that off default is on the only time you'd really want to turn that off is if you are getting stuck or something you need to spin tires or um, rock the vehicle or whatever got some cup holders in here which is always a necessity and I like the way it's got these little bolsters here on the side um, to adapt for all different size cups and bottles and stuff and that closes up when you're not using it and this this center console is pretty neat uh, when I take my arm and I unlatch it it kind of slides back and up at the same time and follows like this course and it's got these tracks in there and what basically what happens is see if I can demonstrate this um, when you when you open it up your arm just kind of stays on it and it's like a real comfortable place to put your arm out of the way while you're accessing your stuff in here you also have there's a place here for wires to go in and out because there's a power supply right right there a 12 volt you also have a USB and an auxiliary input there as well this is a felt lined um, like a felt fabric carpeted interior has a little tray that you can take in and out for quick access stuff and of course you can close it back if you're when you're not using it glove compartments felt lined all right so here's the rearview mirror you can see you have your OnStar button there for um, you also have a emergency SOS button and a, like a, an assistance button there there's a this is an auto dim rear view mirror there's a little sensor up there and you can uh, basically when a vehicle behind you if, if they have their bright lights on this will auto automatically dim so it doesn't blind you Got a place to put some sunglasses up here and it is felt lined as well uh, this is um, your interior lights. You can turn them on. You can have them just in a center where the, they on, they come on when the door turns on, opens up, or you can just have them completely off. That's how that works. Garage door openers are here. Once you pair it with your garage door opener, that works. You also got some light. You can turn your lights on here individually if you want to. So this one works. This one. That one works. That one. visor it's got mirrors and lights and it's the same thing on the other side now this one has the dual pane panoramic sunroof and they're controlled using these buttons here let's see if I can get the right camera angle so you can see what I'm talking about so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the shade and it's pretty cool because it kind of slowly smoothly goes back the shade and you can see the whole roof there. I can open up the whole thing, like so. And it has this turbulence net thing that avoids turbulence. So now I can close it. And I can close the shade. So if I'm getting too much light, I can do that number. But it still gets, gives you a little bit of ambient light there through the shade, which is pretty cool. Alright, let's take a look in the back there. Adjustable headrests.
All right, let's take a look under the hood, see what's under there. in there and right in the center put your finger in there and push to the push to the right sorry so basically I'm gonna push it to the right and lift up with my hand once it reaches a certain point it'll go up by itself so here's the uh, v6 VVT engine um, VVT is a very groundbreaking uh, advancement in, in modern engine technology you should check into it if you're interested but basically, um, it gives you better performance and better gas mileage simultaneously, which is amazing. And look at there, you get to see some metal. A lot of cars, I mean, this is our, it is covered up with plastic, but a lot of cars are completely covered up, so it's good to see some metal when you lift the hood. I, I, that's what I prefer anyway. Alrighty. Take a look at the window sticker. 2015 across. And feel free to use the pause button to check it out. All right, there you have it. Uh, if you have any questions or if you have anything to add, if, you have, if you're driving one of these and you have some stories to share, please share it in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. Um, if I got something wrong or skipped over something, I'd really appreciate you if you uh, mentioned that in the comments as well and kind of fill us in with some details. And I think everybody would uh, really appreciate that. Also, I'd appreciate it if you could support my channel. I'm trying to uh, improve the quality and frequency and um, everything. Uh, uh, and of the video so uh, if you, there's any way you can help out I'd appreciate it and also if you can uh, share my videos with people and like and subscribe it really helps me out a lot thank you for watching and I'll see you next time thank you also for to Hyatt Buick GMC in Myrtle Beach South Carolina for allowing me to check out this awesome vehicle thanks for watching see you next time